the main tool we are going to use when dealing with random variables in, in the context of discrete probability is the probability mass function. This is the function, well, as the name suggests, this is a function, and this is a function that represents the probability assignment to each outcome. So for instance, take random variable y1. You see here, each outcome is assigned to a distinct value as the random variable's definition. So since I know that each of these are equal probable, assigned one over eight probabilities, the probability mass function of random variable y1 defined as the probability that y1 equals k is this function. When k is zero, y1 equals zero, the event y1 equals zero has probability one over eight. Similarly, the, the event y1 equals one has probability one over eight and so on. Okay, so this is the probability mass function and it represents the probability you assign to each of these uh, values that the random variable can take. Now, um, since it has all the probabilities, uh, an important property of the probability mass function is that when you add up all the values, it should add up to one. So one over eight, one over eight, one over eight, one over eight, all of them, add them up, you should get one. If that is not one, then that function is not a valid probability mass function, in short, PMF, okay? And another property is that any event you give me defined in terms of Y1, I can compute the assigned probability using only the PMF. For instance, the probability that Y1 equals four is obviously one over eight, but I can also write the probability that Y1 is greater than two. Now this is represented as these outcomes. So add them up five over eight, or the probability that Y1 is between three and six inclusive. Let's say three and six, add these, I have four over eight. Okay, so this is how you compute probabilities using PMF. Let's look at the PMF functions of the others, Y2 for instance, you see the outcome zero appears only once, so that has probability one over eight. One, two, three appears three times, so three over eight. Two, 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 so that is three over eight. Three appears once, so one over eight. I don't have the other values, four, five, etc. do not appear, so they don't have any probabilities, zero. Okay? You see, add, add these up, you get one. So this is a valid PMF. What about the PMF for Y3? Here you see, I have just one outcome for zero. So this is one over eight. And I have one, two, three, four ones. So that is four over eight and two twos and one three, two over eight, one, one over eight. What about Y over four? I have, uh, I don't see any zeros. Okay, so I have one, two, one, so two over eight, one, two, three, four twos, so four over eight, and two threes, so two over eight for outcome three, okay? And finally, the PMF for Y5, I have two zero outcomes, so that is two over eight, and one, two, three, four outcomes of one, that is four over eight, and finally, two and two here, so this is two over eight.